Hello everyone, it's me, Sanjay Vasu, back again for another video. This time I'm doing it on Cambridge Lower Secondary Mathematics Paper 1 for Stage 7 for September 2020. You're not allowed to use a calculator. Let's show. Question 1. Work out 0 0.4 into 600. That's simply 240. Question 2. Calculate 9 plus 1 plus 5 squared into 3. That'll be 9 plus... 1 plus 5 squared, which is 1 plus 25, which is 26. 9 plus 26 into 3. We do multiplication first. So 9 plus 26 into 3 is 78, which is equal to total 87. Question 3. Here's a function machine. A. Find the output when the input is 5. When you go to input and we do minus 7, we get the output. So when input is 5, output O is equal to 5 minus 7, which is equal to negative 2. B. Find the input when output is 10. The input will be equal to the reverse operation of minus 7, which is plus 7. So O plus 7, which is equal to 10 plus 7, which is 17. That's the answer. Question 4. Mike says that 4.02 into 1000 is equal to 4.02000. Mike's not correct. Complete these sentences. The mistake Mike has made is what? And the correct answer is what? Mistake Mike has made is he just added three zeros because multiplying by 1000. But then, because there's a decimal, we should not do that as we do with a whole number or an integer. So the mistake he made is adding zeros to the right of the decimal places. The correct answer is, when we do 4.02 into 1,000, 1,000, we just bring the decimal place three times to the side, 4020. Question 5. Do I think about the mathematical words that are straight line lengths? Diameter, yes, it's a straight line. Circumference, no, it's not a straight line. It's the perimeter of a circle. Center, that's not a straight line. It is a point on the circle center of the circle and the radius it is a straight line on a circle from the center there's a line going to the circumference that's radius by the way diameter is simply two times the radius or a line passing from one end to the other end of the circumference passing through the center question six use one of these symbols less than greater than or equal to to make each statement correct 2.41 dash 2.401 2.41 is greater and 1, 4 by 5 dash 1.75. 1, 4 by 5 is equal to 1.8, and that'll be greater than 1.75. That's the answer. Question 7. Work out the value of x degrees. So x will be 360 minus this angle. But how do we find this angle? We know that this is a quadrilateral, so the sum of the angles will be 360 degrees. So let's name this angle as y. Y is equal to 360 minus the other three angles, which are 90 because of this. And then 114 minus 48. And Y will be equal to, if we do it correctly, 108 degrees. That means X will be equal to 360 minus 108 because these are angles around the point. That will be equal to 252 degrees. That's the answer. Question 8. A computer selects a letter at random from the word below. Banana. Complete these sentences. The probability that the computer selects the letter dash is 1 by 3. The total is 6 letters. 2 out of 6 is equal to 1 by 3. And which letter has 2 chances of coming out of total 6? It's the N. So, letter N. The probability that the computer does not select letter B is what? Because letter B is only there once. The probability that it does not select it is the other 5, which will be 5 by 6. Now for a third one, the probability that the computer selects the letter M is 0 because M is not in the word banana. The probability that the computer selects the letter A is dash percent. Remember the percentage. So A appears 3 times in the word, so 3 out of 6. To get the percentage, we simply multiply this by 100. This will be 1 by 2, and this will be simply 50%. That's the answer. Question 9. 
Mia hires a bike. The hire costs two dollar fifty cents per hour. A work out the cost of having the bike for seven hours. So seven hours means two dollars fifty cents multiplied by seven, and if we do that, we get the answer as seventeen dollars and fifty cents. That's the answer. B write down the formula for the total cost C of having a bike for H hours. So because we multiply 2.50 by 7, which is the number of hours, then we have to multiply 2.5 by H, which is the number of hours, to get the total cost. So C is equal to 2.5 H. That's the answer. Question 10. Work out 6 by 11 divided by 3 by 5. Give your answers a fraction in simplest form. That will simply be equal to 6 by 11 into 5 by 3 because we divide the fraction. That will be equal to 10 by 11. That's the answer. Question 11. A 3D shape has two faces and one curved surface. Write down the name of this shape. So it has two faces which are not curved and one which is curved. Which shapes in 3D have curved surfaces? We have a sphere, we have a cylinder, and we have cone. In sphere, there's no faces, so that's not counted. And in cones, there's only one face, but we need two. That's why the answer is cylinder. If you draw a cylinder, something like this, there are two normal faces which are flat and one curved surface there. So the name is simply cylinder. Question 12, A. Complete the table of values for the equation y equals 4x. So when x is minus 2, we just substitute in y is equal to minus 2 into 4 minus 8. When x is equal to 2, y is equal to 4 into 2, which is 8. B. On the grid, draw the graph of y equals 4x. So we can simply use these points. Minus 2, comma, minus 8. Minus 1, comma, minus 4. 0, comma, 0. 1, comma, 4. And 2, comma, 8. I know this looks like the line y is equal to x, but then that's because it's been scaled differently. The x length for one is full thing, but for the y length of one unit is that. That's why it looks different. It should, in fact, if the graph has equal scales for x and y, it should look something like that. But then the scale is different, so you have to do according to the scale given. That's the answer. Question 13. A cuboid has length of 4 cm, width 5 cm, and height 30 mm. A. Find the volume of this cuboid. Give the answer in cm cube. So 30 mm is simply 3 cm. So the volume will be 4 into 5 into 3 because length into width into height that will be equal to 60 cm cubed. B. Work out the surface area of the cuboid. Give your answer in centimeters squared. So the surface area will be 2LB plus 2BH plus 2LH. Assuming that breadth and width are the same thing, that means 2 into 4 into 5 plus 2 into 5 into 3, not 30 because 3 centimeters, we have to have the same units plus 2 into 4 into 3, that'll be equal to 40 plus 30 plus 24, which is equal to 94 centimeters squared. That's the answer. Question 14. Zeroing down each number that's a multiple of 3. To find if it's a multiple of 3, we just add up the digits and then divide by 3 when you add them up. So 2 plus 3 plus 7 is equal to 12, 12 by 3 is equal to 4. Because this is an integer, the number 237 is divisible by 3. 343, when we add the digits up, we get 10. 10 by 3 is equal to 3 on by 3, which is not an integer, so it's not divisible by 3. It's not a multiple of 3. 905, similar reasons, it's not a multiple of 3, because the sum of its digits is 14. 558, it is a multiple of 3, because when we add the digits, we get 18. 18 by 3 is 6, which is an integer. That's the answer. Question 15. These two triangles are congruent. Find the value of x degrees. So, this side and this side are the same. This angle and this angle are the same. This side and this side are the same. That means using correct 
visualization, we can say this angle is 67 degrees. X is equal to 180 minus the other two angles, which are 90 and 67 degrees, which is equal to 23 degrees. And why do we do 180 minus? Because angles in a triangle simply add up to 180 degrees. So X is 23. That's the answer. Question 16. A. Write 0 0.375 is a fraction in simplest form. That will be equal to 375 by 1000 in fraction. And then when you bring it to simplest form, we divide both sides by 125 to get 3 by 8. That's the answer. B. Aiko spends 30 minutes on homework and 85 minutes reading. That as a ratio in its simplest form, the time Aiko spends on homework and the time Aiko spends reading. So that will be equal to 30 is to 85, which is equal to, when you divide both sides by 5, 6 is to 17. That's the answer. Question 17. The diagram shows an octagon. Draw an enlargement of the octagon by scale factor 3. First of all, you guys might think, hey, this does not look like an octagon, right? Well, this has eight sides, so it's technically an irregular octagon. Anyway, now going to the enlargement part of it. Enlargement of the octagon by scale factor 3. They didn't give a center of enlargement, so you can draw the enlargement wherever you want. If you enlarge by scale factor 3, let's see this one till this one. The length of this will be 2 into 3, which is equal to 6. So in the new one, I'll just add all the lengths. It'll be 6, 3, 3. This will be 3 sideways. This will be 3. This will be 6 sideways. This will be 3 and 3. That's it. Now we can simply draw this. There'll be 6 here, 3, another 3, and then a 6 sideways like this. And then we have a 3. Three sideways. We have another three here. And the final three, like this. This is the shape with enlargement scale factor three. That's the answer. Question 18. A map has a scale of one is to one million. The distance on the map between two towns is six centimeters. Find the actual distance, give your answer in kilometers. That'll be six into million because the map multiplied by million is the actual distance. So that'll be six million centimeters which is equal to sixty thousand meters which is equal to sixty kilometers that's the answer question 19 the diagram shows the shape made from three identical rectangles each rectangle is the length of seven centimeters which means seven centimeters here seven centimeters here and then the other two sides over here as well seven centimeters there and there which means for these four. The width is five centimeters shorter than the length for each rectangle. That means the width is two centimeters because seven minus five is two. So two centimeters is two over here, two centimeters here. And this length will be seven, the full thing, minus two, which is five centimeters on both sides. And there's two centimeters down here. Why am I writing all this? Because the question is to find the perimeter of the shape. Well, we just add up all these lengths, right? So that'll be 4 into 7, because 4 times of 7 centimeters, plus 2 into 5, because 2 times of 5 centimeters, plus 4 into 2, because 4 times of 2 centimeters. That'll be 28 plus 10 plus 8, which is equal to 46 centimeters. That's the answer, 46 centimeters. Question 20, work out 1, 3 by 5 plus 4 by 7. Give the answer as a mixed number in simplest form. So that'll be equal to 8 by 5 plus 4 by 7. And we can multiply this one, this fraction, by 7 on both sides and this fraction by 5 on both sides to get the same denominator. So we get 56 by 35 plus 20 by 35 which is equal to 76 by 35, which is equal to 2, 6 by 35. That's the answer. Question 21. The point P has coordinates 2, 9, and point Q has coordinates minus 3, 9. Find the distance PQ. We have a formula to do this. The formula is x2 minus x1, the whole square, plus y2 minus y1, the whole square 
full thing square root that's the distance and that'll be equal to let's just assume this is x1 y1 x2 y2 this will be square root of minus 3 minus 2 whole square plus 9 minus 9 whole square which is equal to minus 3 minus 2 is minus 5 whole square is equal to 25 and for this one it'll be 0 squared which is just 0 so square root of 25 because 25 plus 0 is 25 that's why and that'll simply be 5 units that's the answer question 22 explain why 27 is a cube number but not a square number we know that the cube root of 27 is equal to 3 but then when we do the square root of 27 we get 3 root 3 very simplified and this is not an integer Meanwhile, 3 is an integer, and that's pretty much the reason. That's the answer. B, find a two-digit number that's both a square number and a cube number. Actually, the only two-digit number which satisfies this is 64, because 64 is equal to 8 squared, and it's equal to 4 cubed. That's the answer. Question 23. These are the heights in centimeters of six plants. The mean height is 23 centimeters. The plan with height 11 centimeters is removed. Take the correct statement for the mean height of the remaining five plants. The mean remains the same, changes by 11 centimeters, decreases, increases. Because we take out the least value out of all the plants, the one which is really differing from all the others, the mean will change significantly. Since the least value is no longer there, it's not considered, that means that the mean will increase because there are more number of high values or more proportion of high values. That's the answer. Question 24. The diagram shows the floor plan of Pierre's room. Pierre wants to cover the floor with square tiles. Each tile has side length 50 centimeters. Pierre says he will need more than 100 tiles to cover the floor. Show that he is correct. So first let's find the surface area of this floor plan. This length over here is simply 3 meters so this will be 12 meters squared because the rectangle and the next rectangle is 15 meters squared how is this 3 meters by the way it's just this full length 7 meters and then minus 4 meters to get this remaining length 3 meters so the total area is equal to 12 plus 15 which is equal to 27 meters squared which is equal to converting to centimeters squared 270,000 centimeters squared why because meters to centimeters is equal to multiply by 100. Meters squared to centimeters squared, we multiply by 100 squared, which we can multiply by 10,000. And that's what I did here. Well, now each tile is side length 50 centimeters. So that means area of tile is equal to. 50 squared, which is 2,500 centimeters squared. So, number of tiles he needs, or Pia needs, is equal to 270,000 by 2,500. You can cancel out a few zeros, and we can cancel out this over here. And actually, you'll get the answer as 108. 108 tiles which is greater than 100 because Pierre said that he'll have more than 100 tiles needed Pierre is correct that's the answer question 25 this graph shows the monthly rainfall in millimeters for London and Barcelona in one year a. Find how many more millimeters of rainfall there was in London than in Barcelona in January, which is right there. So for January, London, which is the line with circles and dotted line, it had 80 millimeters. And for Barcelona, which is the straight line with squares, has 40 millimeters. So it will be 80 minus 40, which is equal to 40 millimeters more for London. That's the answer.
B. Take all the correct statements. London had more rainfall than Barcelona in seven of the months. So let's check. First month, second one, third one, and then we have the fourth one here, fifth one, and then sixth one. This one does not count because it's equal. And that's why it's only six months and not seven months. That's why this is wrong. Barcelona's highest monthly rainfall was in November. So for Barcelona, it'll be like this, this line. And the highest one's actually in October, so this is wrong. There were two months when the rainfall was the same in both cities. We can see that it's the same over here and over there. That's why that is correct, so we can put a tick there. The lowest monthly rainfall for both cities was in July. If we check for London, it'll be like this. And we can see in July, it has the lowest rainfall. And for Barcelona, we can see in July, it has a huge dip down in rainfall over here. That's the lowest point for both cities. And that's why that's take as well. That's the answer. With that, it comes to the end of my video. Please like this video, subscribe to our channel, share this video with your friends and family, and comment on how you think this video was. With that, it's me, Sanjay Vasu, signing out. Thank you. Bye.